Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Don Pablo's bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, I am super, super excited to be putting this coffee to the test. And I actually did a little bit of modeling for this company. Yes, I flew down to Florida, met with Don Pablo, AKA Darren, and did a day of modeling. So that full story is gonna come soon. If you are interested in that, hit that subscribe button and get notified when I upload that. All right, so in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the barrel. Yes, people, this is a barrel because it is bourbon coffee, of course. Um, then we're gonna take a look at the beans. After that, we're gonna throw them over to the hand grinder. We're gonna grind them up really nice for an espresso shot. Yes, we're throwing them in the AeroPress. I'm gonna do a nice espresso shot. Then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. I absolutely love tasting new coffee and this coffee, <laughs> is gonna be nothing like I've ever had before. After that, we are gonna be doing the second sip test. Yes, we're gonna throw the beans back in the hand grinder. We're gonna grind them up perfectly for the pour over. And then we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang. Once again, we're gonna do the sip test. Yes, people, I am so excited for this sip test. Then we're gonna find out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen sometimes, people, it does happen. I don't think it's gonna happen with this one. I have high hopes because I respect this company. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this beast. We got the Don Pablo Coffee Growers and Roasters logo right there. Very, very cool. Silhouetted man right cha. You got the bourbon barrel, little whiskey uh, glass right there. Very cool. Bourbon infused coffee, golden blonde roast and full of flavor. That is what's up, people. Whole bean coffee because we do not want those additives or preservatives. Yes. This is a first for At Home with Lucas. We have a barrel of coffee. All right, let's take a look at the side over here. Bourbon infused specialty coffee, very cool. Take a look at the back of the barrel. You got their bourbon right there again. And here is a little bit of the story of how they actually made this coffee. That is very cool. All right, so here is the ingredients. Organic, that is awesome. There you go, organic or Arabica coffee, Kentucky bourbon. There's a little bit of alcohol in here, people, but you're not gonna get drunk, don't worry. All right, a little bit more information on these guys, donpablocoffee.com, their logo again. I really like the artwork on this. This is such a unique and awesome looking uh, packaging. It's so fun, so cool. Take a look at the bottom. All right. Oh, there's the Best Buy date right there. We are good to go, people. Good to go. All right. I think I gotta cut this open. All right, let's crack this bad boy open. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> ah, that is very interesting, wow. Okay, so the smell is 100% bourbon right here. That is intense. I feel like I just got a shot of, of uh, bourbon, wow. Okay, so it's a bag. Very interesting. Okay, it's a bag inside of a barrel. So I'm guessing this is for ultimate freshness. So that is that is very, very cool. I like that a lot. Let's take a look at this. All right, a little bit more information. Cool, cool. All right, take a look at the back. All right, brewing tips, love that. Absolutely love that, cool, cool. Okay. Oh wow. It's like a it's like a double um 
<laughs> it's like a double hands-on. Now we can do a hands-on with this, which I'm guessing is basically going to give us the same information. Let's see if there's anything different. Nope. Um, brewing tips. Cool, cool. Yeah. Okay, so there's no one-way valve. That's interesting. Yeah. I'm not finding a one-way valve, so they're... Oh. Oh, there it is. Wow. That is hilarious. It is literally hidden right there. Yeah, that smell is straight bourbon. Wow. All right, let's rip this bad boy open. Take a look at the beans. So excited. Oh! Wow, I cannot explain how much this smells like bourbon. Holy moly. All right. Wow. Wow. Those are some beautiful beans, people. Let me turn the the light up a little bit more there we go wow look at those so this is very reminiscent of the artisan beans by stump town so if you remember those beans this is very very similar and this is because stump down i believe is organic also so you're dealing with um some very well crafted beans if you looked at my don pablo um um signature i think it was the signature blend signature roast um they were completely different beans so this is very cool this shows that uh these guys are willing to use very special beans to make a very special cup of coffee yeah the aroma you're getting is is very bourbon with like a hint of coffee so that's very interesting i'm not seeing a lot of imperfections here that is very nice, um, and this is, I believe it's a blend, I'm not sure. We're also seeing low oil, and I'm pretty sure that's the result of them infusing the bourbon straight into these bad boys. So, coming up, we're gonna throw these into the burr grinder and see how they break down. All right, let's get into this, people. So that is a one ounce scoop and we are loading up my hand grinder. This thing is actually really, really nice. I like it a lot. So we're gonna be loading it up with about four ounces of coffee beans, just enough to make an extremely strong espresso shot. But that is what we do on this channel. We like to go bold, people. We go bold and take a look at those beans once again. They are gorgeous looking. All right, we got it loaded up. Let's go ahead and set the grind setting. So we're going to be setting it to an espresso grind. There we go. All right, let's get these beans broken down. I, of course, put this in fast forward mode for you. This actually takes quite some time. If you've never used a hand crank grinder, I would recommend you give it a shot. It is a lot of fun and it's actually a workout. So if you're someone who wants to get a little little workout in in the morning then go for it all right let's take a closer look at these grounds see how they broke down gorgeous color by the way absolutely amazing there's no filter on this at all no color grading that is basically what they look like man that is some good looking grounds right there perfect for an espresso shot yes people All right, we are gonna load up my AeroPress. If you have no idea what this is, I actually have a full review on my channel. You can go ahead and find that and take a look. 
This thing is absolutely amazing. It does so many different things from um, espresso shots to pour over to French press. It is really quite amazing. Um, and I'm barely, I've barely scratched the surface, but here we go. We got this thing loaded up with the ground up coffee and the smell. Once again, I cannot, it is truly amazing. This smell and just the whole, the whole process so far has been absolutely amazing with the Don Pablo bourbon infused coffee. Okay. So what you want to do for your AeroPress is you want it about 175. So I always go to 200. I let it cool down to the temperature needed. So for AeroPress, 175 is going to be perfect. All right. We got our hot water. Let's pour it into the AeroPress. Yes, people. You always want to swirl it up, make sure it's nice and blended. Everyone seems to have their own idea of how to use an AeroPress. Um, I like to find my own path <laughs> and just go from there. But you can see you got some crema forming on top. And this is not even a pour over. This is going to be an espresso shot. So it's already looking very, very nice. We're trying to get the right water to coffee ratio. That way we get the best taste for our grounds. All right, so now we're going to plunge this down, which is going to put pressure on those grounds, which will make the espresso like shot. Let's see what we got here, people. Oh, steamy. Get out of here, steam. All right. This, the AeroPress actually takes a decent amount of pressing as the, the name uh, <laughs> in titles. All right, there we go. That's our first look at these, at this coffee. It's already got a very nice looking color to it. Look at that. Wow. All right, now we're gonna pour said coffee into our espresso glass. Let's take a look at the stream. Ooh, that is very rich, people. Wow, look at that. That is a very, very interesting color. Has to be because of the bourbon infusing process, but wow, look at that. It's almost got like a reddish amber hue to it. Very, very interesting. All right, there we go. Now we got a really good look at this. Wow, that is that is truly amazing right there. That that tells you that you're in for something special. This is not just going to be a normal shot of espresso, not a normal cup of coffee. Wow. All right, so here we go. We're going to put the thermometer in. So you want your your coffee to be between 1 30 and 145. I usually try to go about 132. That is optimal taste for, uh, or that's the optimal way to taste coffee. If it's if it's hotter than 135, you're gonna um, lose some of the actual flavor. So anything that's 130 to 135 is gonna be really really good, and you're gonna get all the flavors out of this. let's get into the sip test I am so 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 excited to test this coffee as you saw a minute ago it is a beautiful beautiful amber color I don't know if that was planned by Don Pablo or if that is just the result of it being soaked in bourbon but let's get into this sip test whoa Wow so sweet, so smooth. Um, it's thick, but it looks watery, which is very, very interesting. Um, that is definitely a good thing, though. Wow. 
absolutely blown away. That is like, it's almost like candy, um, which you wouldn't expect from it being bourbon. Bourbon is usually a harsh sort of like punch in the mouth. Um, this, you get a little bit at the back of your throat. I'm getting a tiny, tiny bit of bourbon, but it's very, very sweet. Wow. From the smell to the, well, mainly the smell, um, to the fact that it was soaked in bourbon, you expect it to be a little bit harsh. You expect it to have that like 100% alcohol taste to it, but it absolutely does not. And it is very, very good. And I'm not even someone that likes alcohol at all. So, wow, definitely artisan signature, um, original, that is intense. That is wow. I just, I keep saying wow because the flavor is truly unbelievable. It's heavy too. It's weird. It has like this heavy weight to it. Maybe it's similar to bourbon. I'm not someone who has consumed bourbon a lot in my life. I've had it maybe a couple of times, but wow. This is definitely a, it's delectable. I can't say, I truly cannot say enough about it. Wow, it's not, it's well balanced. Um, it definitely has a, a, it has a slight coffee taste. It's, it's, it's almost like a hybrid. Like it's, it's the result of the two of the coffee and the bourbon coming together that create its own taste. I would actually say this is a hybrid. It doesn't taste like alcohol and it doesn't really taste like coffee it's somewhere in the middle and it's very, very interesting. I give this 100% five stars. You have to try this at home. This is truly a, ooh, excuse me. Wow, truly a delectable cup. Um, ooh, excuse me. I'm, I don't know if I'm getting the burps from the, the, the bourbon coffee or just from, uh, um, from life, I don't know. Yeah, I would say if you're someone who's not into alcohol at all, this is fine. You're not going to be turned off. It doesn't have, it has a slight alcohol taste to it, I would say. Just a very tiny, tiny taste, but it's the, it's the full bodied flavor that just hits you. It's sweet. It's, um, wow, it's a little bit smoky. It just has this flavor that just does not want to quit. It is truly amazing. And I'm not really even getting an alcohol taste as an aftertaste. It's very sweet. Wow. The smell is definitely bourbon. Um, it definitely has like that bourbon smell to it. So um, if you're under 21 and you're making this and your parents come in or something, <laughs> you got to let them know that this is not alcohol. <laughs> wow five stars highly recommended um, is this gonna be your daily coffee it could be it could be because of the unique taste you may find yourself enjoying this more than anything else it truly stands by itself um, so it could be a daily consumption it's gonna come down to the user though when you consume it you're gonna know uh, this is something I want to consume daily or not um, definitely fun to pull out for people to consume and say, hey, you want to try some bourbon coffee? They're going to say that doesn't exist. And you're going to say, yes, it does, sucka. <laughs> wow. Don Pablo, five stars. <laughs> all right, let's do this all over again, people. Take a look at those beans. Lovely, lovely beans. All right, we got our hand crank grinder right there. We're going to set this to pour over setting, which is going to give us a really nice understanding of how these beans break down and how they function when you're doing a pour over. So that's going to be super exciting. All right, let's load up this hopper. I believe that we're going to be putting in four ounces. Once again, there is two. Are we going to do three, three? Let's see about four. We got four people. All right. Two, 
turn on our water. All right, let's take a closer look at these bourbon infused beans ground up. Ooh, that is a beautiful looking bean right there. Beautiful looking ground. The color, I kid you not, it's 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 one of a kind. It truly, the color almost matches the barrel now that I think about it. That is such an interesting color and just, you can tell that these were very, very healthy beans to start with. Very nice. All right, let's load up the coffee gator pour over kettle maker people. I almost said kettle. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. If you don't know anything about the pour over, you're going to learn a little bit. So what you want to do is load it up with way too much coffee grounds like I do. We're going to be putting in a lot of scoops and that is going to give you an exaggerated flavor. People, you're going to get that punchy hit that you probably won't get if you do it any other way. All right, the last little bit. All right, so what I like to do is go to 200 and then let it cool down to about 185 for pour over. That is optimal water temperature to give you the best taste because that is what we are all about here, people. All right, we got our water heated and we are going for the first pour. So what you want to do is you want to soak the grounds completely and then let them drip for about 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, and then you hit it with the first pour and that's going to give you the best taste once again. So this is all just a process that you go through to make great coffee. All right. Ooh, look at that crema, people. Wow. I was not expecting to see any crema from this because it is a specialty coffee. So usually when you're dealing with specialty coffees, it's going to, the rules are not going to be there, but that is, that's a decent amount of crema for a specialty coffee. And that is looking like a pretty rich stream. And the smell, of course, is unto itself. You almost want to buy this just for the smell because, you know, invite people over. Don't tell them what you're doing and brew this up. And they're going to be like, are you are you brewing bourbon? <laughs> are you making bourbon right now? Is, is that what's happening? And you tell them, no, I'm making I'm making you a cup of coffee. So this is the ultimate, you know, family, friends come over and surprise them with something out of this world, really. Look at that crema. I am just so impressed. That is that is a sign of fresh beans. That is a sign of a healthy uh, crop, if you will. So very, very nice. Take another look at the stream. It's, it's growing strong and it's matching the barrel too. There's no, there's no color grading on this. There's no filter. This is all straight from camera um, and pretty accurate to, to the naked eye. Um, yeah, that is definitely looking good. All right, we are continuing to pour in our water. We're probably going to go to about 500 milliliters. That is, um, I think it's about 16 fluid ounces, if I'm not mistaken. But you can see how it's holding in that water right there. That is a, also a really good sign. That means the water is running through each ground uh, slowly and not just flushing down the barrel uh, or down the drain, I should say. All right. Yeah, very unique looking grounds. I, I am very impressed. All right, let's do the pour test. So we're looking for a rich stream and we're looking for it to have a good color tone. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, look at that gorgeous looking coffee right there. That is truly a, a unique look and it's different from the AeroPress. If you remember, that is a completely different color. Wow, that is amazing. Wow. And of course, the aroma is just, it, it's so strong and it's so unique and, and unto itself. It, it, it has like a, a mixture of coffee and bourbon and it's just truly, truly amazing. Look at that dancing steam. 
All right, let's put the thermometer to use. So you want your coffee between 130 and 145. That is going to give you the optimal taste, and you're going to be able to taste all the flavor notes that are in that coffee. If it's any hotter, you're, you're going to miss out on so much flavor. All right, let's get into this sip test, people. Oh, so excited. Once again, it had that strong color to it, which is very unique to the Don Pablo bourbon coffee. And the smell is just amazing. It's truly a, it's truly a hybrid between coffee and bourbon. The smell and I'm going to guess the taste once again. Here we go. Wow. Wow, that is... It is so good. I cannot say enough about it like each time you think eh, it's not going to be that good and then you drink it and it's just it's so smooth and you saw how much grounds i put in there i put a decent amount in very smooth the aftertaste is sweet you're getting hit by a lot of sweet notes in this it's it's watery but in a good way of course mm. wow this is like a, this is like a dessert uh, coffee. This is something you would make after you had a great meal and you were just sitting around with friends and family, whatever it is. Um, maybe you're just with your dog. Definitely brew some of this up. The taste is is truly top notch for what it is. Um, I would love to see if other coffee companies could uh, compete in this realm to give us, you know, sort of like a this is Don Pablo's and this is the other guys and just to show exactly how good this is because there's nothing on the market. It's it's 10 out of 10 um, for that alone. It stands on a mountain <laughs> by itself. Wow. It is like I said in the in the other part, it is truly like it is a hybrid right down the middle. It has a tiny, tiny coffee taste, a uh, tiny, tiny bourbon taste, but the true taste is the blend of the two that is making this truly unique and original cup of coffee. Um, and I would guarantee that people out there who are like, I don't even like coffee, if they had this, I know they're gonna be like, wow, that is actually really, really good. Mm. Wow. I'm actually excited to try this uh, Don Pablo's bourbon coffee in other uh, brew methods. So I may do a French press. Um, I may do um, some other, I'm trying to think of what other ways I have to make coffee in my house. Maybe that's the only other way I have. I got the pour over, French press, aero press. Um, yeah, I think that's it for, for ground coffee that is, for uh, non-capsulated non-pod, non-cup related. I wouldn't mind trying this in a K-cup. Uh, Don, Don Pablo out there, if you catch my drift, a K-cup with this, woo, that might be delectable. Mm. It's truly a, a, a sweet, smooth, watery, but in a good way, a cup of coffee that you just are enjoying each sip. Um, there's a little bit of earthy notes I'm tasting in that one. Tiny, tiny bit of smokiness. The bitterness is zero, <laughs> absolutely zero. I've been drinking some, uh, some coffee lately that is bitter beyond belief, and this is a, this is a breath of fresh, <laughs> as they say. I mean, it's five stars, it's 10 stars, it stands on its own, it's a signature, um, uh, crafted blend that you can taste that this was designed for the palate. It was not designed for cash money. It was definitely a um, genius endeavor by by Don Pablo. That is, this this is truly amazing. Um, I hope I don't sound like a fanboy, but I am because this coffee is that good. Um, 
Now, is it going to be something you're going to consume daily, weekly, monthly? I'm going to say you're, you could consume this daily as a pour over. Um, I think the AeroPress might be a little bit stronger hitting. You may want to um, be able to control exactly how much water to coffee ratio. Uh, but I think once you get that dialed in, you may want this as your daily driver. Um, you're definitely going to pull this out for friends and family and you're going to want to ex share the experience <laughs> with other people because it is that good um, and it is that unique. Uh, and the whole process of making it in the pour over, you really get the smell and, and the grinding it up. You get to see how it breaks down and just everything about it really is is a, uh, a thing that is an, an experience in itself, really. Um, but yeah, for what it is, signature blend or uh, artisan blend, um, this is a true craft, I would say. Ooh, I think this coffee does make you burp though. So that is, uh, I keep, uh, in the last video, I got a burp. There goes another one. And it's, um, it's a little bit similar to the kombucha where it comes from deep down within and it just sort of rises up unexpectedly, unexpectedly, unexpectedly with no, um, no warning. It's just, there's a burp. So, um, but yeah, I definitely could see this being consumed daily. I think if you're not a coffee drinker, I would challenge you to go out and find this coffee and uh, give it a shot. Um, I mean, it is whole beans, so you're gonna have to do a little bit of process, but I am thinking about making a video shortly where I explain how to uh, basically go from a non-coffee drinker to a coffee drinker in a very cheap and quick way. So I'm thinking about putting together a little kit and uh, talking about that in a video and whatnot. So definitely five stars, this is truly <laughs> one of a kind. You have to try this if you haven't. Um, go out and buy it. You're not gonna be disappointed. All right, there you go. That's the Don Pablo bourbon infused coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click it and clank that like button. And if you wanna join the At Home with Lucas family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time you get a subscriber, get a boost to make more and more videos. And it's because of you guys, I surpassed 1K. Yes, people, on my way to 2K and I cannot thank you guys enough the ones who have subscribed and the future ones who are subscribing right now. Yes, people, I am so grateful, so thankful. This guy's here for the long haul. Decades to come, you'll see this face all over YouTube. You can trust that when you subscribe to this channel, I will keep that little blue dot solid lit 24 seven. I am committed, yes, people. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.